Hi, I'm Ashley Gilbert, and it's my pleasure to be speaking to you today about the recently released results from our Merlin One Well. For today's presentation, I'm joined by Alistair Caird, our Exploration Manager, and Rob Benkovic, our newly appointed Chief Operating Officer. We at 88 Energy are excited about the results from the Merlin One Well, which is located on our Project Peregrine Acreage on the north slope of Alaska. We are pleased to announce that our post-well evaluation work has confirmed the presence of an active hydrocarbon system of enormous potential and scale in what is already a world-class petroleum basin. This video provides a brief snapshot of the key outcomes from the Merlin One Well and also outlines our planning for the Merlin Two appraisal well, which is scheduled in early 2022. 88 Energy has been active on the north slope of Alaska since 2015 with four key projects covering over 500,000 gross acres. Project Peregrine was acquired during an off-market takeover of XCD Energy in mid-2020, with a project targeting the Nanashuk Play and a sandwich between the known oil fields Willow to the north and Umiat to the south. The Nanashuk Play was popularised by the recent discovery of the Willow oil field by ConocoPhillips, as well as the Pika field by Armstrong and Repsol. Subsequent exploration efforts at this play boast an exceptional success rate of greater than 90% of wells encountering oil or reported discoveries. In March 2021, 88 Energy drilled the Merlin One Well, which was designed to test a mean aggregate prospective resource of 645 million barrels of oil across three separate targets. As I mentioned in our announcement on the 16th of August, we are thrilled with the results from the Merlin One exploration well, with light oil detected in the Nanashuk across three separate horizons. The Merlin One Well was drilled to a total depth of 5,267 feet and intersected 41 feet of net log pay across the N20, N18 and the new N19 sands. We're pleased that two of our pre-drill targets came back with evidence of light oil signatures as well as the N19 and have now incorporated these results into a revised independent prospective resource estimate which boasts a substantially improved chance of success for future appraisal programs. Hi, I'm Alistair Caird, and I'm here to talk to you today about the major outcomes of the Merlin One test results. What we're seeing here in the bottom image is the updated time depth relationship now produces an exceptional tie between Merlin One logs and the 2D seismic cross project Peregrine. This is important for several reasons. The first is that what we are seeing in the seismic is reflected in the logs meaning a stronger response in the seismic is likely to reflect a bigger impedance contrast and therefore potentially better reservoir quality. The second reason the seismic well tie is important for future exploration efforts is that we have a far more robust handle on the time depth relationship. All Merlin 1 targets came in considerably deeper than prognose, owing to sparse offset well control and limited time depth data, and subsequently the drilling rig commissioned to drill Merlin 1 lacked the fit-out required to reach the N14 target. The N14 target remains a significant target of interest, especially since it extends north and is designed to be tested by Harrier 1 in future years. Here you see a high-level summary of our results. The takeaway here is that all samples and tests point towards oil. You can quite clearly see that all primary targets show marked fluorescence throughout, as well as producing a cut. This indicates not only is there oil in the system, but there is adequate sample permeability for it to move when a solvent is added to it. The mud gas peaks in C3 to C5 readings were accompanied with high total gas, which was up to approximately 10 times higher in the N18. The sidewall core plugs show fluorescence when photographed whole under a UV light as well as when trims were cut. The trims also showed fast cuts when solvent was applied. The trims were then fed into a two-phase geochemical analysis whereby all trims over the primary targets returned hydrocarbon signatures. These trims were then further analysed whereby their hydrocarbon signatures could be matched with known oil data to give an API range, a light oil. Finally, here we have the carbon isotope data on the mud gas isotubes collected whilst drilling. The lab observations were that all indications were that deeper mud gas samples from the primary targets come from a reservoir oil accumulation. 
In isolation, these results all point toward the presence of oil. In combination, they provide strong evidence of an active petroleum system that contains light oil. Only a thin section of the N19 was penetrated by Merlin 1, which is supported by the seismic response over this interval. The seismic reflection of the N19 at Merlin 1 is particularly weak and pinches out immediately west of the well. This corresponds with a dirty or ratty thin sand seen in the logs. Encouragingly though, the N19 reflector increases in strength to the east, which is towards the shelf break where a more clean, porous and thick sands are expected. It is also important to address the size of the reservoir. At up to 201 kilometres squared and potentially fill to spill, it represents a material upgrade to the Merlin 2 prospective resource. Finally, given the number of exploration and appraisal wells targeting this play across the North Slope, we fully expect the 41 feet of net log pay intersected in Merlin 1 is likely to be a much more substantial figure in the Merlin 2 appraisal campaign. This is evidenced by the 750 million barrel willow field just 20 miles to the north of Project Peregrine, which has a reported net pay thickness of between 42 and 72 feet. Hi, I'm Rob Benkovich and I've recently joined the 88 Energy team. I'm here today to talk to you about the very important reservoir description tool results. The primary objective of the Merlin 1 RDT program was to obtain fluids from the deep, deeper zones with the strongest shows. The plot displayed here shows data acquired from the first pump out depth taken in the N18 reservoir. Density is shown in the blue and capacitance is shown in magenta. These independent measurements both show clear evidence of hydrocarbon slugs flowing through the tool as shown by these decreasing spikes. With water being density of 1, any time these spikes go below that value is clear indications of hydrocarbon. Unfortunately, the logging truck lost power at this critical time shortly after and we were unable to capture these fluids. With the logging truck down for over two days and the hole exposed to the drilling mud, we were unfortunately unable to re-establish communication with the N18 reservoir. The Merlin 2 well is shaping up to be one of the most exciting wells scheduled in 2022. And 88 Energy fully anticipates it will unlock further value for its shareholders. The planning is already underway with three potential locations selected for the Merlin 2 appraisal well to the east of Merlin 1. Where as mentioned, Merlin 2 is designed to target the thicker zones of reservoir intervals. These locations are in the process of being permitted with pre-planning and rig selection commenced. For the recent sale of our Alaskan tax credits, we have strengthened our cash balance and fully repaid all of our outstanding debt. We also recently purchased the other 50% working interest in Project Peregrine, securing 88 Energy a 100% interest in the acreage. The combination of these dynamics leaves us extremely well placed to manage the funding of the upcoming Merlin 2 appraisal well. We've already seen and expect significant further interest from potential new partners in Project Peregrine. This is a clear function of the Merlin 1 results to date and the sheer size of the prize at Merlin 2. If we do choose to introduce a new partner into Project Peregrine in the coming months, it will be a strategic partner on the right terms who can deliver significant value to the shareholders of 88 Energy and the project. In summary, Project Peregrine is a world-class asset with a prospective resource of 1.6 billion barrels of oil net to 88 Energy. And the Merlin 1 well has de-risked the project confirming an active petroleum system with light oil. We look forward to drilling of the Merlin 2 appraisal well in early 2022, further revealing the huge potential upside of our Project Perrigan acreage. Thank you for joining us on this brief journey through our Merlin 1 results at the World Class Project Perrigan. We look forward to keeping you up to date as we progress towards the spudding of the Merlin 2 appraisal work planned for early 2022. Thank you.